So this weekend we will speak about the Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So we will speak about the Father and the Father in relation with the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then the Father is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not just the Father, but it is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the Son, Jesus Christ is the second person of the Holy Spirit, begotten from the Father. So next session we will speak about the Son and his relation with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And then we will speak about the Holy Spirit in relation with the Father and the not speak about the Father and Son and Holy Spirit uh, separately, but we will focus about the Father first, the Son and the Holy Spirit. We will speak about the theology, the Trinitarian theology of the Holy Spirit. And then we will use our, as I said before, our liturgical text through of Patrick. You will see that in our prayers we use terms, the Father's pronouns, to prove the relation between the two, the three persons of the Lord. So the first term that we say in the creed, we believe in one God. Who is this God? So, if we practice like that, then I can say that don't criticize me. I don't believe in God. If you say, do you believe in God? If you are asking, I say no. I don't believe in God. Because other people believe in God. But I believe in God, and this God is the Father. That's why the, the Nicaea and the Constantinople Creed we say we believe in God. Cool. And this can be the Father. As if we, 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 we make an equation like that. God equal Father. Why we say like that? And then we follow we believe in Father, Bade, come to Kratos, Bade, Trinity. So why the Father has this order? We put the term God, Bade, Father, and the Almighty, Creator, all the things. Why we didn't change these terms like that? We believe in one God, Almighty, Creator, God the Father. Why? What do you think? Why do you put the Father immediately after God? Then the Almighty, then the Creator. Why? Because I think that the other persons are uh, creators as well. I mean, they are. Uh, the other what? Uh, persons. I mean, uh, creators. Uh, the uh, Son and the. Yeah. yeah, they are creators. Yes. The three of them are creators. And the three of them are uh, come to the full. Yeah. But I think the only, uh, I mean, what what's making the father a father who is who's only a father is God. Mm. Any other? So if if you will ask me, what are you doing, officially? I say I am in Russian. So I don't need to comfort you. I'm just a Jewish. I 
and that was it. So seeing you what I did, you will know what I'm doing. And what I did, what I told you, it's not part of me. It's outside me. So you didn't know who I am. But you knew who I was doing. But if you would ask me, do you have a son? And I say yes. That means I want to become a father. So I am a father. That's me. Not what I am doing. So when we say we believe in one God, in this God is one. That means he has a son. But the creator, creator, also has covenant. So we only can know everything about the Father through his son. That's why Jesus Christ said, you cannot come to the Father eh? through me. Why? Because the Son and the Father are co-substantial. The Father and the Son, we will see that later, Homo usus. Homo usus means co-substantial. The same essence. No one knows about the Father except the Son. So what Jesus Christ came to do is to reveal us God. So that's why he was speaking when he was on earth after his incarnation. He was always appointed being the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father. And especially in John 17, when he was praying the last prayer. Right? And by the way, in the creed, we start the creed saying, we believe in one God. Sometimes, if you notice, when I started this session, I don't know if you noticed that or not. I said what I said in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I didn't say one God. Amen. I mentioned that many times. But that doesn't mean believe in one God. Because it is normal that I believe in the Trinity. But we used it to say one God Amen. Because of the Muslims. They were attacking us that we are polytheists, not Muslims. We believe in three different gods. Or separate gods. If you would ask your friends here in, in Canada, the Christian, you will note that they, yeah, they doesn't say one God amen, right? Because they didn't have these challenges so the Muslims here, as we have in Israel. That doesn't matter. But I, I, I say that because we believe that the creed, in the beginning of the creed, we say we believe in one God. Huh? Because we don't believe, or we, we would like to emphasize that the three persons are one in essence, or that has something to do with eternity. 
No, that is not the, 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 the real issue at that time. They said that to emphasize that there were at that time many gods, but not real ones. But we do believe in one God, and this one uh, is the true God. Regardless if this one is free or not. But we believe in one God. You believe in many gods. But we Christians, we believe in one God. And we will explain later who is this one God. This one God is the Father. Why he is Father? Because he is Son. And of course, he has a spirit. So, you cannot understand the word God regardless of the word Son. Because the word Son and the word Father related the one to the other. If you would ask me, I am Father, and I say yes, that means I have a son. Or a daughter, of course. <laughs> and if you would ask me, if you are your son, I say yes, that means, sure, I have a father. Saint Gregory, the theologian, saying, the term son and the term father express, expresses the relation, the relation between the two. So we cannot understand the word father without understanding or having the word son, and we cannot have the word son without having the word or the term father. So it is very important to believe in God the Father. Because you believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. We will see later how we became sons and daughters of God. And that is, of course, through Jesus Christ, the Son, the true Son of God. And in Him and through Him, we became daughters and sons of God. So the Son of God became Son of Man to make all of us to be sons. That's why we are as Christian. Christian means I believe in Jesus Christ as Lord. So through him only, and we all, we all, we can pray to the Father, saying, Our Father. Because we believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. So it is very important to believe in Jesus in, in God and the Father, and this Father is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, you have a question. Okay. So you can call to your mind some of our liturgical text to prove what I just told you. Take a look at it, will you? Regarding our Father. At the beginning. Saint what do we say in the beginning? Who is this one? Allah al Rahul. Minda? Abu Rabbana. Rafin and Nikon Zayn will be Salim Abuna. All the litanies that Abuna prays, starting Ibad, Ibad, Banas Allah, 
الله الله إيه مين ده كان مين ده لا لا أكبر speak about the son, the third person of the Holy Trinity. Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, so what you're, what you're saying in, in the beginning of all these prayers, there's, you're talking about the Father, and then it says that he's God, the Father of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then the Holy Spirit is not mentioned. So is the assumption that the Holy Spirit goes without saying because no one can call Jesus Lord except by the Holy Spirit? Yes. When you when you pray to one person of the Holy Trinity, as if you pray because of the one essence. We believe in three persons, distinguished but not separated. And if you will apply that to the, we will start the uh, Thanksgiving prayer, praying to the Father, but we will end with the praising the Son and the Holy Spirit. And every time you praise one of the Holy Trinity, later you praise also with the, the other one. Other one later, because as we, as we say in the doxology, when doxology means doxa the Greek in Hebrew, we could be starting doxa, and men could be have doxa but that's why we call it doxa. Doxa but you can you that means glory be to the Father and be to the Son. The word and means the glory is to the Father. The same glory is to the Son and the same glory to the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the three persons have one essence. Thank you. Have one essence. So, 
But the Kaliman, the Sat, the Sat is the second person of the whole. We go upon the Sat, we got that from the Father before all ages. And that is what we mentioned in the Kriya. So, the word Sat, or the way that, that we use to describe the coming of the Son from the Father is begot. Mulut, begot. And why we use this word begot? Now, if we see a boy at the moment, and after yeah, many months, we will see him again carrying a baby. Why we add when? We say, we ask him, when you, what? Huh? Look, birth or deliver. But we cannot use the same word, deliver to describe the coming or the procedure that Jesus Christ came from the Father. Why? Because we cannot apply the same position the human way that the human baby comes out from the form of his mother to the father and to the son. Because our nature is created nature. But the nature of God is a divine nature. But we have the names father, father, son from him. So when I have a son, I'll be a father. And the baby will name him son. From where we got these two terms? From God the Father. Why? Because God the Father is eternal. And God the Son is eternal. So I am limited by time and by place. So I, the limited one, got this name from the unlimited one. And St. Paul told us that from him, every nation or every country got its name. The name Father and the name Son. Now the problem here is if someone will apply the human term to the divine father and the divine son, like what had happened with Arius. What is the problem? That Arius thought because Jesus Christ named his Son of God, or Son of Man, because His incarnation, because He emptied Himself and came to us, took our nature, united it with our human nature. So we named, or the custom named Him Son of Man. He thought, oh yeah, He's going to have Son of Man. How could we say that this Son? who was born from Holy Spirit and Virgin Mary, is eternal with his father. What is the problem here? The problem here that he applied the human relation to the divine relation. Human relation tells us that I have a son and he, and he, he is 22 or 23 years old now. Before 20 years, I was there with his mom, 
was my place, but my son was not there. So it was a time I was there, my wife was there, my son wasn't there. So my son cannot be always with me. There was a time which my son wasn't there. So he applied this relation to the father and the son and said, no, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is, is not co-eternal with the Father. The Father is eternal. But the Son was born later. So the Father was not a father always. He became a father. He was not a father always. That is what had happened with me. Before 20 years old, I wasn't a father. I became a father when my son was there. But the verb to become means a change. This thing is moved there and become here. So that the thing wasn't here. Become here now. Now, so the verb to become, that means a change. But the divine nature, eh? there, is no change. there is no change. Only the divine nature is changing. But our, our nature is changed. So the son was not, he said that, the son was not co-eternal. That's why in the creed, what we say, before, eh, begotten from the father, eh, before all ages. What does that mean, before all ages? Eh? The created nature, yes. All the, all, all, the, all the, the created nature has two dimensions. Limit, limited by time and by place. Space and time. Beginning and end. Space. But God is the creator of time. God is the creator of space. God is out of space, out of time. Eternal. So, we say that the Son is begotten from the Father before all ages. That means, in other words, huh? eternal. And who is, who has an eternal nature? Only God. So the Son is God. Right? With all only the Son is begotten from the Father before all ages. Who is not limited by time and place? Time and place? Space? God. So before all ages means eternal. So who so who has who who is the only who has an eternal nature? God. So the Son is God. That's why we say Because the Father has always been Father. Yes. And that's why, after that, immediately we say, what? Yes. Yeah, that's good, man. We got them from them. So God. Yes. 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 Um, but Jesus did 
nature is fully human, fully yes. divine. Yes. And but there was a point where you gained that human nature. Yes. So what does that mean that God can participate? That's a very good question. Thank you. It's it's not only for me this question. We have to share. Like there was a point of incarnation when Christ has the divine and human nature. Like we say the nature of God is the same, but because of the fact that he becomes human and human means like the nature and he like the nature does change. The the confession is just like you made it one with the spirit of humanity, you made it one with his divinity, and you're both without alterations. And we have no yeah, no there's no confusion or alteration. So alteration was that he made it one without there being any change. But he was not corporate yeah. and became yes, but it's changed to either one of the two natures. So, like, the divine nature didn't change, and the human nature didn't change because it's divine. But yeah. that doesn't mean that overall, as the divine Christ came through both incarnations, his nature was different than both two. It doesn't mean that it's humanized. Yeah, because he calls that it's a divine nature. So, it's the historical analogies that we mentioned that we have. Where Christ was uh, giving the daughter of uh, uh, Saint Jane, uh, he raised his hand, or he, he spoke to her. That's a human action, but he, he he spoke divine words because that's a divine action. And at the same time, when he walked on water, walking is a human action, but what he did was a divine action as well. Right. It was both of them at the same time. It's like hitting hitting a piece of iron that's being burned. Are you hitting the fire? Are you hitting the iron? And none of them change. Fire is still fire. Iron is still fire. Yeah, but the iron is still fire. The still flames of the iron. Before he could, yeah, but before he couldn't, he couldn't technically walk on water because he didn't have a human nature. Therefore, the different aspects of his nature. Yes, sir. In in one of the other week and. Dr. Gilbert was saying that um, that Christ is coessential with the Father and His divinity, and coessential with us in His humanity. So, in the incarnation, I guess what happens in the incarnation is that uh, is that the Son became coessential with us. So, so there's so it, it's that. Doesn't that contain? Doesn't that imply change? It's a change yeah. of it's right. a, it's a change it's of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very counteractive to say there was a point where the sun changed, but then we can't accept the fact that there was a point like like the sun if, if we're to define the nature of Christ before incarnation, for sure he wasn't human. Right? So why would it be a problem for the father to become a father? Like why is that? No, I think he he becomes two different No no but he he was saying that he God's nature doesn't change, right? So we can't accept for us to say that the father wasn't a father and that he became a father post incarnation, right? But no, 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 no. You're confused now. Yeah. You're confused now. Uh, but the first question is very important. Let us yeah, keep answering the first point of the, your question. I was going to comment on why I'm saying about the change. I don't think it says that. that Divine nature change, or else you're saying that it's mixed with the human nature. So, the human nature at one point in the incarnation, the human the humanity of Christ, it was united with the divinity. That didn't change the divine nature in any way. It was just 
a unique that has it. So I don't think it changed anything in divine nature if the divine nature doesn't change. But he, he, he got something what he didn't possess, right? Which is? Which is? But the human nature remains human nature. So I would agree. Yes. I would agree. Okay. Yes, I would agree that it's not a word change rather than an addition. Or an addition. But, but, but the, addition is the, the same. The same reason. It's like it's like saying if you got a doctoral he, degree, he was, the doctoral degree doesn't change and you don't change. But yeah, but but he was divine. Yeah. He was a divine, and he took this very very like sensitive. Point here, but Khalina, this Markham, I don't care. Anyway, this very critical one. Also. That what differentiate our dogma or our orthodox, uh, orthodox scholars from the historian. Yes, what had happened? But so there are there are still there are still uh, two natures, but they became united. <laughs> no. Step by step by. The, inc the incarnate what nature was Mary and the Holy Spirit. Divine incarnation, like divine. What has happened? Divine conception. That what that means? Like intercession. Intercession. I don't know. That means there was a baby in the form of Saint Mary. Then the Logos took this baby or united himself with this baby. No. No. no? Logos became that baby, or not the logos. There was no baby beforehand, but like the logos, con like grew into grew a human, body. embodied as a human, like took flesh. Four, <laughs> four, four. No, for himself. So he took flesh for himself. For himself. Okay. His his own body. His own body. He took flesh from, from Virgin Mary by the Holy Spirit, make it his own body. His own body means there was no baby in the form of Saint Mary. And Jesus God and the Logos united himself with this baby. That what? The story is said. That's why he called Mary the mother of this baby, and this baby was the Christ. So he called Mary mother of Christ. Christotokos, not Theotokos. Theotokos means the one that Saint Mary gave birth in the incarnate Logos. There was no human nature that or person that that Jesus Christ united himself with this person. That's why that's why you cannot speak about a change in his divine nature. Thank you very much. Because he took this this human nature, make it his own. So we are speaking about one nature, out of two natures. He personalized the human nature in his person. So, so, so we, are, we are speaking about one person, one nature out of two. So there is no change. But 
then how can we say that Christ took flesh? Took flesh, but not took person. Okay, but he wasn't flesh and blood. Flesh and yes, blood. but this flesh became his own. So he changed human nature. For you to say... No. For you to say that the flesh became something implies that the flesh changed. The Logos became man. Why do you want us to join the world? Became man. Well, that's that's. Look, uh, I'm not speaking about you, <laughs> but the heretics, they used to change. <laughs> 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 no, because you are, <laughs> no, no. excuse me, no, 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 no. But, but because you of a sudden became, became, but the, the, uh, um, uh, they used it to, 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 to make a commentary on this, on this word, became. And St. Athanas and St. Cyr in his letters, uh, he tried to explain the word became or God, or uh, speaking about uh, the, uh, uh, some others against Arians, uh, they said they said that, G that God gave him a name. They said, look, look, he took a name. Look, I give you something that means you don't have this thing, and I give it to you. You don't possess what I'm giving to you. Yes. So he gave his name and became Lord. So became, I think, then, Sara. Omar, we allow on the Kerimat Jew. Yani, Messalan, Ken Mabtat Sifr Hekma, Arabu Halakani, Awal Turkul Agla Amal. So you need, now, Haga out of Mikila. When Jesus Christ said, the Father is greater than me. <laughs> Look, he's saying that the Father is greater than him. He himself said that. And that means he's not greater than like the Father. So he's less the Father than the Father. So he's not two gods from two gods. So he, 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 he wanted to explain to them. What is the second part of your question? And uh, your question, I have another question. Now, let me talk about the first part. The second part, I'm going to do it. So, so, okay, the king doesn't necessarily have to be the king. But. Was our FIFA to be the king? Like, how, like, you say he. He took, he took, and made it his own. Yes. His own means there is only one person out of two nature. You're right. It's not. It's not about the problem of the two natures being united. It's the problem of if he made a nature his own. What does that mean? That he truly made. No, because I, as I said, some of the fathers say that he personalized this nature. Personalized means this nature was made with not a person in the form of something. That's why he, uh, he made for himself from the form of San Lady and Holy Spirit. His own body, his own. فأكن حاجة جدت عليه ما 
el, 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 el question then, pardon me, el question then, un, الناس بتفكر تقول ايه؟ هو ابو ابن راح قدس وبعدين في يوم النجي طيب لما ربنا صعد للسماء هو كان ثلاثه وبعدين عندنا يوم النجي يبقى هيكون في اربعه ولا هيحصل ايه؟ الحل بتاع الكلام ده فين؟ لا اه ماشي ما هو هيز ما احنا بنقول ان يونايتد هيز نيتشر ويز اور نيتشر ويزاوت كونفيوجن ويزاوت سيبريشن فجسديا مينز ستيل يونايتد ويز اور نيتشر ستيل ستيل توداي اند فور ايفر اند ذس از بيكوز اوف ذا هيومن اوف ذا ستاتيك اي وي ار نوت سبيكينغ اوف ذا وي ار سبيكينغ اباوت ذي وير ثري اند ذي ار ثري But after incarnation, something added. The human nature. But we understand that this is added on the three. But that is his own. So the essence of Christ was in part human before. No. No. Before incarnation, you cannot speak about incarnation. But after incarnation, you can. Huh? What? No, but it changed and it could add it something. He didn't add something to his nature. And now we have to, we have to understand. Could you define what the difference is between took something and added something? Add, add means, add means. I, I add these things to my pocket. But if if I make this one to be one with my pocket like that, I cannot say add. That is the hypostatic union. This is a struggle of sincerity to explain. Out of two nature. All the examples we use cannot express this mystery. You cannot you cannot say about the fabric or something like that. But the the the, the only ex, uh, example that Sanders Seer used is the fire and iron. You cannot separate the air from the fire. But what you call it when you have air, like some Hadid Muhammad, I mean, hot air, hot air, yes. And 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 which is which? Which is the heat? The fire. The fire is a divine, and the iron is a human nature. And other thing to use is the human, the human, the human nature. All of us, we have two components: this flesh and the spirit, the human spirit, or the human soul. But when I see you, how many I see? One what? One nature? No. One person. I can say that is Philip body and that is Philip soul, but I can separate only <laughs> in my suit only. That some series said that. We separate the two natures of Jesus Christ only 
in the theory of monuments in the third order. But in reality, we see one. And he has a book titled Jesus Christ is one. Al Masih wa Very good one. Uh, and there's an English also. But yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 but uh, uh, the problem is not what's in God or in God himself, if he can or he cannot. But the problem is in our mind to understand how God could do that. That's why, that's why I, 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 I would like to mention also about the theory of what we believe in, it is not the result of our mind or our choice or our impulses. What we believe in is the is heavenly revelation. Heavenly revelation. God revealed himself for us in this way. So what should we do? We have to believe it to understand it, not opposite, not to understand, to believe, no, to believe and to understand. Believe comes first. Why? Because that is revelation. Revelation means about our Bread, our mind. If you would like to understand, that means that's your brain or dmech, or yeah, understanding. To understand means to catch. To catch, that means to put them in inside you. It's your mind. And that's the thing you would like to understand. Yudrik. Yudrik means to catch. You cannot catch God. Because if you catch God by your mind, that means your mind is bigger than God. But God is unlimited. St. John Luston has a book titled God is not uncomprehendable. But what can we do? We believe in God. We have a relation with God. So God will reveal us Himself again. We will be deeper in this faith, we will understand more and more. So, if I ask you about, can you tell me about your father? What father means? Or what fatherhood means? You will say, that's my father. No, 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 tell me more and more about your father. No, I cannot say nothing. That's my father. Come and see my father. How he is acting. That's my father. So you have to have experience with the Father to say something about the Father. If you believe in God, and someone will ask you, do you believe in God, and God is your Father, you will say yes. You will not understand that. It is not, it is not easy to understand that. But if you have such communion with the Father as God, you will assure for him that, yes, I can speak about God as Father. Who said that in the 
and the pistons. The cassette coil. Same chip. What is that? In the first chapter, the first first design. I'm going to tell you something about the light. Light coming from the Father. I'm, speak, I'm, I'm going to speak about who we have seen in the world. Because we have communion with the Father, we have communion with the Son. And I'm telling you, I am, I am writing to you to invite you to have such communion with the Father and with the Son. So he could write to the others because he has already this a experiences. Why we cannot say the Presbyterian faith is very difficult, it is more easy to speak about the Mankara. But he is disgraced. If we cannot say that he is one and the spirit he is different. Why? So I was going to say the confusion for the me from when I listen happens because of context. Dr. Joseph was saying the verb to become signifies change. And then he went on to explain how the divinity is unchanging, as in is uncorruptible, but we are corruptible. So that human nature can change. From what I understood from the statement was that he was saying that to become, to become something else, that means to become corruptible or to become defiled or to become something that it is, should not be, that the divinity is unchanging. Uh, that's one context of the word to become. And then he said to become in another context, in that Christ became man. And that was one meaning of the word to become. And that was a totally different meaning of the word to become. When he was talking about the Son, he was talking about the, um, the Father not being Father and then becoming Father. And he said that that. Yeah, that, no, that, no, was, no, that was that was Arian's yeah. definition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That God was in a time he was not Father and became Father. Yeah. So he is not eternal Father. Yeah. In time he became because. The son was not co-eternal with him. So because he was no he, he was he wasn't eternal with him, he was not there, and because he was not there with the father always, after a while the father became father because when he became when he has a son. What I understood it was like if, if we can say that that I, I didn't mean corruptible. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is not. It is not the same. Yeah. It's, not, it's not. Hmm. But the, the thing is, I think when I when I was listening, I was I was when he was saying the verb to become signifies change. He was trying to say it can't be used to say God can't change. God in in nature, like as in in in. in but I would nature. like also to. I, uh, yeah. I was trying to emphasize that uh, there is no something to be added to his nature because of the incarnation, but because he united with him always self in, in his in this apostatic union, he became one with his uh, divine with his human nature. So he is one of two natures. So we cannot speak about becoming, about he added himself. He, by the way, uh, 
استوری و سرد یعنی به مصاحبه افرد ان انا عندي الشكل بتاع البيستر كان وي سي ذات الشكل دي كين 1 و كين 2 بيكوز افتر واي ده مش مش ده الكتب مستور قال كده على التو ميتش كمبني يس القديس كريموس قال له هيبوستاتيك يعني يعني هيبوستاتيك لا لا هيبوستاتيك 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 مينز بيرسون وايز ان ذيس نيتشر ان اكسبريشن فقال له لو لو كان الاتحاد بين الطبيعتين بين المصاحبه مينز افتر ريزركشن يبقى تيك اوف اور نيتشر اور اور Human nature and ascend it with his divine nature. Hello. Where is our salvation? Nothing. But because of his this, the prostatic union, the two nature cannot be separated again. So he died with his with with his according to his human nature. يرجم with this nature عشان كده هو احنا اقامنا معه معه وفيه واصعدنا معه and that's our salvation that's why St. Cyril was trying to defend this hypostatic union because of us and because of our salvation الكلمة اللي انا بقولتها اشرف why we cannot speak about one God but not three three hypostases the Qadis in the world is secretly before this dogma leads us to salvation because when we speak about Jesus Christ the son of God who became man for us and for our salvation as we mentioned in the creed and another thing is because as as Ashraf said God revealed himself to us in this way. So we have to deal with him in this way. And I'll give you an example here. مثلا أنا بعرف أشرف من زمان. And I'll ask you here now. يعني أنا اسمي جوزيف نوزي. أشرف can you change my name? He cannot. Like, that's the name. That is my name. No one in the world can change my name. That's the way I would like you to deal with me. If I'm walking outside and you call me, Peter, Peter, come here, and answer you. No, of course, I'm not Peter. <laughs> If you would call my name, I'll answer you. So Jesus Christ came to reveal for us the true God. And who is the true God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? We tell us in all of the industrial rewards. In air, in the industrial reward, Abuna, this is the Son, and he said, Son, to reveal for us the Father, and you give us the communion of the Holy Spirit. And that the Azhar Allah, more in air, على الابن اظهر لها نور الان واعطانا شايف الروح القدس. So through the Son we have access now to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. That's why we are Christians. That's why we have to call the true Father by the names he gave us. He revealed it for us. And Saint Gregory said the Tartarian dogma is the top of our faith. Yes, sir.
Um, okay, so can we say that because that because God is is eternal and he's outside of everything, he's able to take he's able to take human nature without being changed by it. And then but the human so but the human nature was was changed by I mean like our human nature. Because he um, made us able to he made us sons of of God, right? No? I think he restored the, the, the yeah, nature. he restored what the damage happened. Oh so he just he just restored it to its original state. Because now that's a confusing thing, it's man. Partake in the divine nature. Partake in the divine nature means we still human. But what is the character of the divine nature? Eternal. Now, you believe in Jesus Christ. You are always with Jesus Christ. You are mortal or not? Yes. Yes, what? You are mortal. You are what? Yes, 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 Isn't that after the resurrection? Huh? Isn't that after the resurrection? Like we're all we're we are speaking about two different kinds of, of death. You are speaking about bodily or, or uh, small death or uh, physical. Okay. So weren't we always eternal? Were we always like immortal? Yes, because you, God connected you, the Son gave. Ah, we we should not be talking about it. Yes, after why? After the resurrection, but but look, look here, look here, look here, look here. Jesus Christ is out of tunage. That is Jesus Christ. Bus, bus, bus. Jesus Christ is one out of two natures. That's the two natures. Bus of higher. That is the divine nature. Bus And that is the human nature. And that is Jesus Christ. Out of two natures. One out of two natures. Right? According to his divine nature, he is co essential with the Father and with the Holy Spirit. According to his human nature. According to his human nature, he is one with us according to his human nature. Co essential. Co essential. The same essence. He took our human nature exactly that same. United it with his divine nature. What had happened in his human nature is for us and for our salvation. From the beginning, birth. So are we, are we then saved 
by the fact that our nature is united with Christ, not that our nature has changed? Which which it changes? So here, I, I believe in my understanding. From where, <laughs> from where we got what would have happened for us? We oh, right. let, let, let us let us say in another way. Like, what we say, what we say in the creed. For us and for our salvation. Right. And is some in mathematics. And the equation is some Repeat it again. Right. And only for us and for our salvation became man. For us and for our salvation, what had happened? We came back. For us and for our salvation, we came back. Yes. For us and for our salvation, 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 all what had happened is for us and for our salvation. Then St. Alexander said, why Jesus Christ got baptized? And in his baptism, we have seen the Holy Spirit descended as a dove on that Spirit. Right? My question is, according to his divine nature, he was separated from the Holy Spirit and from the Father. So why the Holy Spirit descended upon his head? It came on us. Hmm? It came on us. He descended on us. Mm-hmm. Because of this, co-essential with our nature. What had happened to him? When we became temple of the Holy Spirit, after that, there is a chrismation, right? So, when we got his resurrection, when we, when, when we got his resurrection in the baptism, So is it fair to say that whatever Christ did in the flesh during his incarnation, during his incarnation, we are capable of doing in him? We got what he did in his in his human nature. Not only what what while he was here. But it was forever. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like speaking right now. Of course. And what he did he, he promised he promised his disciples what I am doing you will do greater than that. Why? Because we are in him. They him. So we are we will speak about the divine in the divine partake in the divine nature. So they kalanda divine nature yani yani eternal life. Divine nature yani communion with the Holy Spirit. Divine nature and a incorruptible. Divine nature and a not separating from eternal life into the nature. Thank you. Well, do you remember? So how you how you can take all of this because of his incarnation, because of his substantial communion with his 
divine nature with his human nature. That's why Saint 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 Cyril and the other fathers of the church were trying to emphasize the importance of this union. Right? Yes, he took what? He took what is ours and gave us what is ours. He took what? No, what is ours? What is ours? And took. gave us what is ours. What? What? He took from us. He took what the human form has. Bas? And our, and our sin. And our? And he gave us his life. His life. His democracy. It's more letter. Tablet, it's a capital letter. Tablet, I have an expression. The length of God, what can we call it? Divine A, life. So he gave us his. Divine life. So now you are participate in his right. divine nature without changing your nature. That, that's the whole meaning of partakers. Of Tama. Tama. There is no one of the Father who told us that our nature will change to be divine nature. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because if they did that, that means that they believe that the human nature of Jesus Christ changed to be divine. And that will be the same heresy of Eutychia, who said that the divine nature, the, the human nature, absorbed in his divine nature. And that will be against what we say in the creed, in the, in the, in the liturgy. Yes. Okay. So, so, human nature and divine nature united, mm -hmm. and none of them changed. Mm -hmm. So, we remain human mm -hmm. because we are united with him, and, but we partake. Of, of, of what Christ gives us by restoring our human nature, which is of His divine life, which was which was the original plan of God, okay? like from the beginning. This was how God created us. How are they? How are they? How are they one? Now? How are they one? How are the two natures like? Okay, okay. Explain, explain what St. Cyril meant when you, when you said that he was saying that there are, there are two natures in our mind. Separating our mind. Only. Yeah. Separating only by thought only. By thought only. So, okay, okay. Explain, explain his expression of the that uh, uh, Miaphysis. Uh, Miaphysis to the law of Sarkomen, this is a, another word. That you know, when he was speaking about, you cannot separate the two natures of Jesus Christ only on your thought. But in the reality, you will see one. The one he was acting like that by putting his hand in the head of Simon's mother in law and uh, uh, ordered the demons to cast, uh, cast out. The demons by his divine words. So he is one. Jesus Christ is one. That's his human nature, and the words is the divine nature. So, so the, the distinction uh, it is is not visible. It can't be observed. It's only when, when we, how we think about it. Yes, yes. But you cannot see in reality two separate natures.
Where do I change it? The world is king has to go. Yeah, not necessarily. So, so you could say, like, hero became an artist, but that doesn't mean hero is a magical hero. So, for God to become man, that doesn't mean God is a hero. That's it. It's not like the kind of their way that it means that it's a hero. I can give you the English, yeah? مش عارف ليه؟ حد منكم هو اللي فتح الهند بقى اللي فتح ما انت زميله هي اكسبريشنز دي ليها فلسفات كتير بس I encourage you to, <coughs> to read the four essays, essays of Stan Athenas of the Great against the Aliens. You can find it in English, in Latin, Greek, Latin. And I think in the second one, he explains all the stories. How aliens misunderstood and misinterpreted all these terms, and you can find the right meaning of all these terms. Uh, but I'll uh, found what I would like to say about the liturgy, uh, about the Father. <coughs> فاحنا كنا بنقول ان صلاة الشكر بيكون فيها المشكو السامي الخيات ورحمة الله أبو ربنا فإلهنا بخلصنا وصلاة الخيات It is not just It is, it is not just He is the father of our uh, of the son No, He is the father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ So Jesus Christ is the Father, uh, the Son, Jesus Christ is the Lord, Jesus Christ is the Savior, and He is the true, true God from true God. The example that uh, the fathers in, uh, in the first council of Nicaea used to express or to explain how the son is begotten from the father, is like him. You cannot see this lamb like him, without seeing the light and the hope. You cannot separate, and you cannot find a type, the lamb like him, without having the light at the same time. That is opposite to what Ari said, that there is a time in which the father was alone without the son, or there was a time in which the son was not there. And we can use also the example of the son and the ray, the sun ray. You cannot see the best without having it the same, the same time. فأبونا بيقول فأشيد الإنجيل بس يعني سيكرتلي 
من أن تفتح حواسنا بأوامرك المقدسة كما صارت أبيك الصالح أبيك يبقى هو أبو مين شاني أبو هو هو أبو ربات ممكن ممكن تطلعوها على ال يعني بعد قراءه الانجيل ابونا بيقول ايه بعد قراءه الانجيل بيقول وانت الذي ينبغي لك التنجيد بصوت واحد من كل احد والمجد والاكرام والعذر والسجود مع ابيك الصالح with your good father you هو he is yeah, praying to his son saying with your good father so we are speaking about his father his good father and the father is good the son is good of course this is a very random question. Uh, not, but I think it's related. So, in the in the liturgy of Saint Gregory, Before that, uh, the priest says, the, the original meaning is they 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 uh, ask you uh, whatever with your good father. Like this is directed to you. And your good father. In Arabic, يعني what happened is now they say لأن شعبك يطلبون بك ومعك إلى إلى الآب يعني كأن المسيح هو اللي يكون معنا. يطلبون إليك وبك ومعك إلى الآب. إليك to you وبك with you. آه بس بس أنت I think I think we cannot say we cannot say with you because أنت بتقول إرحمنا يا الله مخلصنا like Christ. Cannot say, save us, O God, our Savior. So I think, what's 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 the real meaning of that? What's what's first of all, what's what's the real text, yeah. and what is the intended meaning of this part? Sorry. <laughs> I think it is. So it, it's it's directed to the son. And to his father, not not the son saying with us. Yes. He is a mediator. He is the one who brought us to the father. Uh, Saint Paul in his uh, epistle to the Hebrew, he said, through him. We, we, we came closer to the Father. He opened the way to the Father through his body. So here, he said, دخل كسابق من بيننا دخل كسابق ممكن تكتب عشرة دخل كسابق في كين إن هذا كذا فور فور أس and for our families from where Saint Paul took this picture as the there is a book you can find it words picture Every every word has a picture, like the word I have explained to you. Now. Some Paul took this picture of this word from his environment. What is the forerunner? Forerunner has many ways, but in this way, in this meaning, he was he used to travel by roads. Sorry, 
وانا عايز اقول لكم حاجه كمان اليوم اللي احنا هنعمله جت في دماغي ايه ولا ايه اللي احنا اللي هي سلمنا بسلمنا رحمه الله اه سلمنا بسلمنا رحمه الله ذيس از اكشلي لايك سيتويشن يا ذيس از سيتويشن بتظبط هو غير كبير بعد كده فخلاص فقلت احنا عايز نموت I think it's hard to understand in English because that verse is not very common in English. We give up there. But the salam of the Arabic means I trusted you and you brought me up. But that was not the situation when St. Paul. St. Paul had when the, 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 the ship was broken, he has no work. He has no work. But then the night of the fire. He's going to fit in the canals of my ass again. I'm not going to wait for him. So give it a second. I'm not going to see him. I'm not going to see him. لا أنا كنت أقول لكم على حاجة تاني برضه بستخدمها كده. سان بول هاز ان ايشو كونسيرنينج هيز هيز لايف يعني هيز ديسايبلز اور ذا بيبل اراوند هيم هي ديدنت تيك كير اباوت هيز لايف. هي ترايد تو هاف تو ميك سام هيد اور تو هاند شغلات كده علشان يعيش. لما اقول لكم ايه؟ انتوا تقعدوا بقى تذلوني يعني؟ ده انا استطيع كل شيء من نفسي ان انا اعمله. احنا بناخدها سبريتشوال. استطيع كل شيء من نفسي ان انا بس هو في الحته دي ما كانش غير احسن من كده. يقول لهم انا اي كان دو ايفرثينج باي ماي هاندز. اي هاف نو نيد فور اني وان اوف يو. اي كان دو ايفرثينج باي ماي هاندز. يعني ما تقعديش بقى لو قريتوا الجمله كلها تفهموا ان هو ما بيتكلمش ان انا سبريتشوالي اي دو ايفرثينج باي ماي ثرو جيسس كرايست نو لا دي حاجه بتبقى كتير جدا لكن المهم بتاعت فورانا جميل قوي فهو كان واقف على كده في الارض وكان ذا مان ما فيش رادار فكان الشقه ضخمه جدا يقفوا في البحر جوه وبعدين عشان الحاجات اللي شايلتها كانت فيري كيفي فكانت بتبقى ناقصه الميه تحت لو هي جت ناحيه الايه ممكن تكون في حجاره تكسر المركب ده بيعملوا ايه؟ يجيبوا مركب صغير ويحطوا فيه اثنين من اللي هم بتوع البحر دول بيركبوا بيبقى معاهم عصايه كده بيعملوا بيركبوا في الميه هم بيعملوا ايه؟ بيشوفوا وير ذيركس ار اند ذي فايند سيف واي فور ذا شيب تو كام سيف تو ذا بول ذيس سمول وات ذي كولد ات فور انر وات از ذا بيربوز اوف ذيس فور انر؟ To find a safe way to this huge ship to reach the world safely. So he took the picture of this small one and he applied for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ did the same. He found a safe way for us to reach our goal, which is the power of the God. Here I go. Very nice. That is Jesus Christ. Our Savior, the Father, Ibn Kalwahid, your son. Who is this your son? Our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. At the end of the Bukhur Bakr Sussum al-Bilal, 
and Ordu, Yarab, Yesan. See, our Lord Jesus Christ begotten from the Father before all ages. So see, the Lord Salim, the Amen, man, will they say, same from the first time. The second thing we will say, the other thing we will say, the other thing we will say, It is to emphasize our different faith. Yes, now, yes. The moon can have come to take us away. I should have to work. I don't know if I can. So, I don't know if I can. Right. Can you tell me what you're asking me? Well, I should have said. When we say, Say Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. This attributes belongs to each person or each apostasy of the three persons. So when we say Father, the Father is unbegotten. And he begot the Son. This is only for the Father. And he proceeds the Holy Spirit. Okay? So I'm begotten for the Father, but he begot the Son, and he proceeds the Holy Spirit. Over to the Son. The Son is begotten. The Holy Spirit. What about the Holy Spirit? Proceeds from the Father, given by the Son. Okay, that is the attributes, the static attributes. But if we say Creator, who is the Creator? All of them. Who is the An? Limited. Who is that is as unseen? All of them. Unseen. 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 You know, he began the essence. Father. غير 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 المستحق. لا لا أنا خايف أصلاً أما بروح نقول إن الآب أرسل الروح القدس والابن أرسل الروح القدس والروح القدس مش يرسل نفسه. صح. نو نو نقول كده زي ما كده. طيب why we say why we say proceeds for the Holy Spirit why we cannot say the Holy Spirit begotten from the Father. لا مش مشرب <تصفيق> مش مشرب ليش يعني الذي يأتي فيه جاي من جاي في الساعات دي الذي يأتي من عند الآب بس لكن yes I heard an incident that I didn't like personally but he said he said that it just means that he didn't he came out of the father in a a different manner in a different manner from from the son so both both the, the The Son and the Holy Spirit, they come forth from the Father since the Father is the source. However, using different words, it just means that he 
just don't think I'll get that. That's that's the answer right here. But I wasn't able to say that. Yes. Don't the words don't the words of, of relationship between them give us information about who they are? So if he's if if, if the relationship in between the two persons is begotten, then that means that there's a father and there's a son. Right. Yes. Yeah. I thought about it. I realized I was not. <laughs> but I, I answered that okay. I mean, partially. Yeah. No. I I was just telling you about the woman who delivers son to our baby. First, is it the revelation? Second, it is not proper to describe the way that the son comes from the father. It's begotten. Namely, that it is proper for the word ib. Ib no lud. Ilbivulit is no ab. Begotten 
but because unbegotten described in him in F, the begotten described as son, what do we call you? An unbegotten this is not the same as begotten. That means to say that the father is not equal to the son. We're saying it's a different chunk that they're not equal. Tired and Samihum, how we got them, or we got them not equal. The Ben Abram is not equal to the Father. But neither is that. Is that? Yeah,
and very divine nature. Well, the, the father is unbegotten. Okay, so what about the son? How is the son begotten? The son begotten from the father because he is the son of the father. No, I'm not in those terminology that doesn't make sense. Because I, the Father is not begotten from so the Father exists eternally, and the Son exists eternally, but is begotten from the Father. Well, that's why he is so a Father. Someone, right. So that means that the Father begot the Son as in, and I'm going to say, okay, but if you eliminate the human understanding of a Father and a Son, then Mahal, it shouldn't be called Father. Mahal, 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 that, that, that's a problem. You eliminate the. Human yeah, you have to, so you have how to can you use the word father and son? Because we, 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 we use this term because of him. Because he is eternal father. He is eternal son. Uh, last, last, time, last time you spoke about, uh, like we, we could have used other words to describe the relation. So, so we, we chose to use the father and the son as, as two words to describe the relation. So, so, uh, Dr. Joseph spoke one time about the reason. So, this is a question to you as well. Uh, uh, spoke about the reason uh, about why we used the father and the son. Like, we could have used other words, but we specifically chose the father and the son. Those words, although they don't necessarily describe the relation 100%, they are very limited in especially to like these two words. But there's a reason why we, ch we chose them. So do you mind explaining that one more time, like why we chose those two words? Instead yes, of, like, I, I said that uh, a few minutes ago, because that is eternal means that God revealed to us about him as a father and about his son as, a, as the begotten son from his father. This is why the Lord himself Christ and Messiah was. Yes. Where is the ones that describe we are the ones that describe that the Son is begotten of the Father. No, no. That is the revelation, Andre. So how is, how can God say, I begot my Son, and say that my Son is the same as I in hypostasis? Could be in nature. I am human, and I, I gave birth to me. Absolutely, we're the same species. Yes. And understand. Yes. Uh, but, but, how can but, I give but birth he, to my Son? And say, I gave birth to a son, without that son having been, uh, having come after me. Ma, here, here, it makes it clear. Mish adin nefesh. Elno, there is a difference between our nature and God's nature. Uh, that, that I understand, but but then I mean you to say that the the words we use are incorrect. We can't say begotten of the Father when we can't c comprehend. What begetting is? Well, that's that's a problem. It is the that's the revelation. I said. No, he said all the songs are divine. He said you have to be divine. You have to understand divine. Divine love, divine love is divine. So, I have this question. Would we say that the son is begotten from the father? Yeah. And in the reality, that the the mother gives birth to a child. So when the mother gives birth to a child, it means there's going to be separation. Separation. He gives birth to a child, but there's not. We are, uh, we have one essence. We are one in essence. Both of them are human nature exactly, but separated. What do you think about the father and the son? Yes, they are separated. I'm, I'm not disagreeing that they're separated, and, separated and they're yeah. one essence. Do you think that they're separated? No, that's not separated. Okay. Distinguished, but not separated. Okay, so what's the difference between distinguished and separated? Yes. Distinguished, that is, you cannot say that about the father, he is the son, or the son, he is the father. So they are separate in name, at least. In no, name. Distinguished in name. Distinguished in name. So it's a synonym. No, we're playing with words. They don't do the same thing. They're, 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 they're different, yeah. They're different, they're different in role. No, I disagree that we can use the word begotten. Okay. Okay, is there a verse in the Bible 
where God the Father says, I begot my son. There's a psalm. You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ten ah. Does that? Okay. So then, when we come to think of that. But, but can I have a tendon, Andre? Yeah. In, uh, you, can, you cannot find the word Trinity in the Bible. Yeah. You cannot find the term homoousus in the Bible. Yeah. So we can't ah. replace that. But, no, but you can find Elohim. No, that is, Elohim means Trinity. Uh, more than one, more than one. Andre, but not Trinity. Yes, but 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 because of the heritage, yes. the father. That is the contribution of the father to explain what was here. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Philip when he came to Jesus Christ asking, "Show us the father." He was with him. He saw him making. Miracles, but he couldn't, as a human, to understand this relation to his father. Can you imagine Jesus Christ would say to him, Look, I'm with the Father, co essential with the Father, according to my divine nature, and I'm co essential with the Father, with you, according to all this. But comes later, three or four hundred later, when the Father came and explained, uh, uh, Saint Elohim said, the human being was like a child. If you have a child, the mother said to him, Take this one, there's a cup of blood. It's good for you. She didn't explain the benefit of drinking blood. This is calcium, this is uh, good for your bones. And that, where you have health, you can have a good. But when he did it, he was understand. So the, the, the human being was like a child. They have to grow up. Then the father came by the, the, the help of the Holy Spirit, the creation of the Holy Spirit, and they explained it. And don't forget that Christianity was born between two cultures. Jewish one and the Greek one. The Greek one was more than 12 gods in the Mount, the long, long big Mount of. And from the other side, the Jewish were speaking about one God. If the Christian now come and say, we believe in one God. So the Jewish would say, okay, what's, what's new? And we also believe in one God. Is they will say, we believe in three apostles. So the pagans will say, or the Greeks will say, so what's new? We believe in 12. So the first church was a challenge to prove that we believe in one God, but this one God is three apostles, but one essence. That took three or four hundred years to be established. Through the fathers, through the, the, the ecumenical councils. So we have to. I, I started having a, a, a class. We call it history of dogma. History of dogma. So we have to study all these steps and all these steps because from the beginning, the word person, word essence was confused with the term apostasis. The father could not accept the term homosis, uh, some of them, the term Sertog. So there's a history of that. But most important, as we said, to believe in it. And then you have to enumerate it and to ask God explain to you, to, to give you more and more enlightenment to understand what this term means. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, when we say that uh, the, the, when we look at it in a different context of the Jewish context, we don't look at it as father, son, higher, below. We look at it as if the father is the one, and 
the subject of the action to take care of, such as your mediation, the father will put the subject uh, be in a holy shape. So, for example, uh, apply that to an analogy with your, if you have uh, a will to do something and your hand is doing it, they're both equally invested in that action. So without the will, the hand is useless. And without the hand, the will has no reason to exist. Or in uh, the sense, in a human sense. Yes, but, uh, but, but uh, it is a good example, but it is not uh, but it is not what what Alfred said can be used, but it is not uh, yeah, so clear because even using this example, we are speaking about one person, his mind, his will, and so on. And that cannot be confused by the heresy of Sabellius, who said there is one hypothesis in the Old Testament with the Father then uh, the same hypostasis became the Son, and the same hypostasis became the Holy Spirit. So we are speaking about three, one hypostasis in different uh, shape or something like that. That is not the right thing. But we, we believe that the Son is distinguished from the Father, but not separate from the Father. And the fathers of the Church used the example of three persons. Peter, John, and Simon. They are three, but they have one thing in common. They're the human being. But the analogy is not complete because as a human being, we are separated persons. But for the three persons in the Holy Trinity, we are distinguished but not separated. So it is so in this the analogy I said. You cannot say to Peter, you are Simon, or Simon, you are Jean. As we cannot say, so the Father, he is the Son, or the Son, he is the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I absolutely agree, and I, and I think what I, mean, I want to say, I would argue that we need to stop explaining the words that no, we no, don't, what, no, we, no, can't, but, but Jesus Christ is, we can't understand yeah. no, about but Jesus Christ God, he said like he used the Yeah, you can use the word begotten, no, no, but you can't no, understand no, what the word begotten means. Okay, but Christ himself used the word my father right. a lot yeah, of times. I agree. I agree, but the problem is I find that we try to say why? 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 In your in your in your mind, why the father started to argue like that? They were not it's like us really to, to sit sense. down and to write thesis about the begotten yeah. and not begotten and so on. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, Saint Cyril of Alexandria, the most one who wrote about the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Do you know what he said? Inopium to logo or logo siupa. Understood? Meaning, in front of the lower, the logo, the word, that word, capital, my words have to be. I cannot speak. He wrote books, volumes. Yes. But at the end, he realized we have to stop talking about the world. I, I, I cannot understand. Which, which father is this? San Zero, Alexander. That's really what I'm wondering. But, 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 
Wait a minute. Does it not, not, that not, to, not to not avoid, to stop. Yeah, not to stop. but to believe in. If you believe in that. that is the I mean that the revelation is necessary. No, 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 no. And I will look, and I will look, and I will tell you more in fact. Who is the, the most famous theologian? No, no, the one who prays, why, why, what do you do when you pray? Speak with God. What are you doing when you make theology? Speak about God. What is better, to speak with God or to speak about God with God? But there is another higher level. The one who repents. Why? What are you doing when you are standing in front of God trying to repent? Yes, but what you do? Huh? Yes, but to do that or to have to do is to reveal yourself in front of God. You said, God, God, look here. I reveal myself in front of you. Look, this part is not clean. And this part is not clean. And this one is not clean. Who? Here. <laughs> we ran here. <laughs> but as much as you reveal yourself, as much God will a will accept your repentance. And when you will feel that you revealed all things to him, and you are going to leave, he will stop you. And he will say to you, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you going? You are better than me. God will speak to you in this way. You are, you are better than me. You revealed yourself in front of me. And now, you don't want me to reveal myself to you? Now, it's my turn. I reveal myself to you. And when God will reveal himself to you, you will be able to do what? To speak about him more deeply. So you will be the greatest thing. So our goal. <laughs> so let us agree. Let us agree. Let us agree to do what? Huh? Do what? To repent. <laughs> repent. Lead us to pray. And pray means to have a communion with the Holy Trinity deeply. Kalas, Tavana, see you tomorrow. <laughs>